इस बार अपना लिंकड प्रोफाइल और नौकरी प्रोफाइल दोनों मेरे जैसा बना लो और बहुत सारे जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज आपको भी मिलेंगे सो so, वेलकम एवरी वन दिस इज प्रवीन हियर एंड टूडे इस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल एवरीथिंग अबाउट द नौकरी प्रोफाइल वॉट प्रोजेक्ट आई हैव केप्ट फ्रॉम वॉलमार्ट वेर इज ऑन एंड इन्फोसिस हाउ आई हैव गॉट very good package and how i got the maximum opportunities from naukri which has helped me to gain much more deeper understanding of how the interviews are being conducted what are the questions that are being asked how to prepare for the coding rounds and everything i only came to know with the help of naukri profile itself so let me start this video by telling you all that today i'll be sharing the entire screen and i'll be showing you my complete naukri profile so stay tuned in this video and like the video and comment down linkedin if you need the linkedin profile of mine also to be shown like this what are the things that i have done with linkedin how i got product based opportunities from linkedin then definitely comment down and like the video so going ahead naukri is a platform which i always believe it's very good for your initial preparation if you are a fresher then it is 100% mandatory that you start your journey with the linkedin or the naukri now very important when we move ahead once our mindset has been prepared ki yaar humko job search karna hai then i usually create all the profiles in various kinds of platforms but this naukri platform is like my test match where i play all the test matches here so what is the meaning of test matches you apply as much as the job opportunities that comes on your way on naukri and keep on applying keep on applying you will definitely get some or the other calls now few things for a fresher you always have to apply for the opportunities which are in the bracket of 0 to 2 years of experience and definitely some of the other company will be looking at your profile and hiring you i'll be telling some tips also for the fresher so make sure you watch the video till then coming on to the experience the majority of the role plays how you how well you have crafted your naukri starting from your projects from your skills from your extracurricular activities from your patents from your data everything this plays a very important role now coming on to the much more managerial roles the majority of the factor for the naukri profile uh, wins here where you have done cost optimization where you have done scaling of your teams where you have done management of your teams where you have architected the things where you have leveraged your systems into much more scale and integration of those systems you have done so these kind of things will definitely help for a managerial or a senior tech arc or architect role upon this one of the important aspect which plays here is your resume i will be showing in this video how i have drafted my resume and how well i have crafted for anyone to look at my resume and to select me for the further rounds so without wasting much time let me get over to my naukri profile and show you everything that is needed for your job situation you mention it and the years of experience and never mention about your salary range because uh, this will hamper your number of jobs you get onto your plate so make sure you always give zero and add your phone number email id and always prefer the availability to join uh, you mention as per your requirement now if you see i have been left with 10% of data which is your ad resume which i'll be doing in front of you in the next few minutes so stay tuned till the end of this video now once so very important for a fresher you can definitely mention that you have worked on your personal projects uh, understood all the information and uh, you can also mention that you completed some certifications participated in the hackathons and won some awards and rewards for a engineer like 8 plus years or 10 plus years you mention like senior software engineer working with Walmart MBA in IT done and currently living in Bangalore total of 8.5 years of experience in the field of devops isari automations cloud migrations and linux system administration along with security now if you see very plain and subtle the resume headline looks like so if you want to literally change some patterns you can definitely do but what i feel is the better you sell yourself in the market the better the opportunities you get it so always try to mention everything that is there in the devops and sre field uh, with which the recruiters eyes comes to your profile and they quickly select you now coming on to the key skills whatever damn you write in your resume 
please add those pointers which will be helping you in a very large scale. So let's say DevOps, Cloud Computing, Kubernetes, Python, App Dynamics, Jenkins, Continuous Delivery, DevOps Tools, Prometheus, Grafana, Dynatrace, PagerDuty, Linux, Ansible, Terraform, Helm Charts, Containers, Docker, Kubernetes, Cost Reduction, Linux, Networking, Security, everything that you need to come out of your comfort zone should be here. Now, coming on to the next things, which is very, very much important about your employment. Now, if you see, please mention everything in a very genuine manner. If you are a fresher, you can mention any of the projects that you have learned in this manner only. You can mention the project name and you can mention any kind of startup name or any kind of others you can add it. And whatever you have done, you can mention it. For example, if you see here, I have worked in Walmart on DevOps and SRE on various automation. So I have mentioned that here. And specifically, you should be very much understanding that whatever you write, the HR reads line to line. So grammatical mistakes and also uh, the English spelling mistakes, all those things, you please take care of that. And each line, you always make sure it's different from one another. So if you see created MySQL database and integrated Grafana, it shows how uh, I was able to do the automations in a very genuine way, how I helped the organization to grow, right? Designed scripts to implement various kinds of Python automations for on-prem applications, performance and Kaios engineering was done on the supply chain applications, design Ansible playbooks for disaster recovery, infra automations and deployments which all feels very standard and you can also use the same things which I have mentioned on to here. Now going ahead if you see again the main criteria is you don't make the same things whatever you have put here with the other. Now if you see whereas on when to when you have worked and if you are able to see key member in DevSecOps teams handling more than 100 plus applications across multiple domains primary responsibility to onboard CI CD applications in both wireline and wireless domain connecting with application team to understanding the application and process used by them. Now whenever a HR reads this they will definitely feel that this particular pattern is genuine or the person is genuine. If you see each line to line, I always make sure the data becomes different and data is subtle in you for you for anyone to understand the things. If you see here, whatever I have mentioned here, let's say DevOps, SRE automations, cloud migration, Linux system administration and security, all of the things are being mapped across all my uh, years of experience so that anyone who sees, they will feel that I am a genuine candidate. Now going on to the next role, which is I have worked as a fresher to I gained some three years of experience. If you see again, worked as a DevOps engineer in developing the infrastructure for Toyota Motor Sales, which involved the automation of entire project, which is based on data sharing between dealer and Toyota management system. Now, if you see, I have not given anywhere about the project topics, but because I was a fresher, I made sure that I write some things about the project also. The automation started with creating the environment in AWS and cloud formation scripts were used. So if you are aware, 2016, 17 Terraform Kubernetes were not that much and people were using cloud and in terms of cloud also AWS was very booming and uh, we were having the cloud formation templates. So mostly here I have worked on cloud. So if you see all the things will be on to the cloud itself. Now though you have keep more things in terms of cloud also because in 2025 people are looking more things. Coming on to the education, please mention whatever you have done, whether you are an MBA grad, BTEC B grad or class 10th grad, mention everything in a very genuine format. Very, very important is the IT skills from here, the recruiters uh, will be able to filter out your data. So if you are able to see Python, monitoring, AWS, Kubernetes, site reliability engineering, DevOps, whatever you are able to write, you please mention all the things in a very genuine manner. Now, if you are able to see, again, my resume, if you are able to see, I have shared multiple times my resume, but I will make you again a walkthrough. So Praveen Singampalli, my phone number, my email ID, my LinkedIn ID. I am a dedicated DevOps and SRE engineer with hands-on experience of three years in the automation, DevOps and SRE tools, all these things. And Walmart, if you see each point to point, I have mentioned in a very clear manner. Infrastructure automation may be Managing cloud infrastructure, developed automation infrastructure, provisioning workflows using Terraform, led the integration of monitoring and alerting tools like Prometheus, Grafana, and uh, New Relic, collaborated with development teams to opt optimize SDLC, ensured secure DevOps practices. And in every company, I make sure I write some points which are different from my Nokri profile and any kind of personal projects, education, certifications, awards, rewards, 
please try to mention it. Now, whenever you are downloading your resume, please download in the PDF format and always write first name underscore last time underscore seven years of it. What I'll do is I'll come here and upload my resume, which I have downloaded. So you will be able to see that once I have down uploaded my resume, what hundred percent here. So that's what I was telling you all that your knockery will be very much helpful to you in bringing many, many jobs. If you are able to see, because I'm not doing any job search uh, and I'm not active on the knockery, it will show that uh, my, my searches and my recruiter actions are less. But when I was doing my job search for your information, the job search appearances and the recruiter actions were in thousands. I used to apply every day morning 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. Nokri profile and keep my Nokri profile updated. Now, when you search about the early access top companies and view all, this will be making sure that you have all the companies according to your experiences coming in. Now, what Nokri has done here is one of the interesting part is that they have added uh, like this where you they have clubbed all the different kinds of companies and uh, they are asking you to share your interest at once so what will happen is whoever is the recruiter of this company your interest for that particular job role will be shared with them so these all things will be very very much helpful to you when you are looking out for a job change and for for someone who is looking out for only walmart devops engineer roles so let's say i am hitting like this walmart devops and if you are able to see variety of opportunities have come in and you can definitely apply so if i am clicking on this particular job role it will be showing that uh, early applicant key skills locations workplace and uh, i'm looking out for job description what is the job description all about uh, okay engineering software and qa so full stack developer it is it is not with respect to our devops engineers right so anything else uh, uh, we will see senior data scientist distinguished developer a group director, analyst three, staff product manager, manager, software engineer three, software engineer three again. Okay, this is something like which is matching our requirement. Yes, experience with creating alerting, monitoring dashboards, SME expert, um, innovation strategies, Python, REST API automations, right? Troubleshooting the business related things, perform RCA, uh, assist in providing the help, so you should be good at Kubernetes, Cassandra, Docker. So I think these all things, AWS, Azure, GCP, Grafana, Dynatrace. So all the things, if you see, these all things should be matching with my things, which I have kept in my uh, in my um, Nokri. So always try to make sure you keep your Nokri profile in a 100% manner, in a very beautiful way, so that whenever someone comes and checks your profile, they will be in love with your profile. If you love this video, make sure um, you subscribe to the channel and share the link with your friends. And if you need a LinkedIn profile uh, optimization and LinkedIn help also, please comment down LinkedIn. I will be making a dedicated video from with the help of my LinkedIn profile. Now, very important, this Nokri will be very much beneficial to everyone. Don't take the premium initially. You can definitely uh, go with the normal account itself and do a job lookout at, for as many as opportunities. So yes, as you have seen uh, the complete Nokri profile. So very, very important that you make sure all the things are there starting from point number one to point number 100. And always look at how the recruiters are searching because the recruiter dashboard will be different and your dashboard will be very different. When the recruiter is searching for any kind of job opportunities, they have the filters with respect to experience, with respect to payment, with respect to what company you're working on, with respect to skill sets. So mandatorily fill all the things and make sure you are also getting job in the coming days. So subscribe to the channel if you have liked the video and share it with your friends. See you in the next video. This is Praveen signing off from this video.